Emma Must was born and raised in the English countryside, a countryside threatened by England's rapidly expanding highway projects. Road building can have a dramatic effect on people's lives. And in terms of rural areas, it means the destruction of our natural heritage and vast quantities of green spaces and the places that people have gone to enjoy themselves, to relax for, for centuries. In 1989, the British government embarked upon one of the most ambitious road projects in history, allocating 23 billion British pounds to construction of new highways. One Department of Transportation official proclaimed it the largest road program since the Roman ages. The road program is designed to ease traffic congestion and bring the famous English countryside closer to the city. However, Emma Must and others cite studies that indicate the opposite, that more roads encourage more traffic, more pollution, and more urban sprawl in England's cherished pastoral communities. Current projects rip through established neighborhoods, ruining Bronze Age archaeological sites and destroying natural habitats. Today, as she has done over the past three years, Emma Must joins yet another protest. I mean, what's going on is, is um, the sort of direct action that we've seen around the country uh, over the past couple of years to, to stop uh, roads being built in this country. Today it's, it's been easy because there's a lot of us and there's not very many security guards. Are they taking um, a guy off of the... Uh... Yeah, they're being very rough. They're always, they're always very rough. Young as she is, Emma Must is a veteran of these struggles. She started when one of the first road projects began near her home in an area called Twyford Down. Local opposition faded as construction began, except for the Donga tribe, a small group of protesters who named themselves after the ancient Celtic tracks that crossed Twyford Down. Once you've seen something that is so clearly wrong and you know that it's going to continue, because the culture hasn't changed enough yet to prevent that from continuing. You can't just sit back and do nothing. Emma was working as a children's librarian when construction began. Shocked by the daily destruction she witnessed, she joined the Dangas, and she risked her life crawling under bulldozers and chaining herself to the axles. Emma and the Dangas interrupted construction for over four months. She defied a court injunction and was sentenced to jail along with six other protesters. By the time of their release two weeks later, Twyford Down was lost. The hill where Emma must learn to fly kites is now known as the M3 expansion. She looks upon it as a symbol of everything that is wrong with England's transportation policy. We began to realize that it wasn't just a matter of one road through one hill, but it was a matter of a thousand roads through a thousand hills uh, over the next 10 or 20 years. I think we've still got a lot to do. We've still got uh, 300 schemes left in the roads program. I think we've got- Emma Must now works full time for Alarm UK, a national alliance opposing the roads. She coordinates the efforts of over 200 local groups involved in their own protest campaigns. Monday morning. I know it's all a bit early for you lot, Dad. What she initiated has become widespread, engaging every sector, from unemployed youth to British aristocracy. The government yielded, cancelling one-third of its road projects. Emma Moss believes a car culture not only threatens her countryside and consumes energy, it also threatens democracy by dividing society into those who have vehicles and those who do not. We must argue against the model of uh, motorised mobility that we've seen in the West being held up as an ideal for the developing world. It's not an ideal. It's causing terrible problems already in the North. It's going to cause even worse problems if it's applied to the South. We mustn't acquiesce in this. We must argue against it. Otherwise, we are just going to be peddling uh, inequality around the world. For outstanding environmental achievement in Europe, a 1995 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Emma Must, 
of London, England.